Hey there, Gray. We're back in the world of Technic. And uh, I'm still scared. Well, there's not much to be scared about. I mean, we're we're not even over where all the scary stuff is. We're on a nice little island with pigs. You know, pigs. They're not scary at all. Not I mean, look sure. at him. He's cute. He's adorable. He also takes two hits. Right? Two hits with a diamond sword. Lovely me. I don't know. Don't Anyways. Know. There's... In Technic, there are a lot of different weapons that you can actually make. Big so fish. today, yep, big fish that just ate a pig. Um, that's something to be scared of. So today we're going to be going over Balkan, Balkan's weapons mod. Um, and there's a variety of weapons that you can craft in here, and so I've brought all the crafting materials I'll need along in my handy dandy alchemy bag. I'll get to it at some point, I swear. But for now, just, it's magic. So the first thing we're going to be crafting is a couple of uh, the um, the different the standard type of weapons. This, this mod adds a number of like melee weapons and uh, some ranged ones as well. And that pig was in the way. So the first weapon we're going to test is the spear. Here. Yep. Is that uh, ranged? It can be. Pretty cool. But you can make all these weapons using all the different tiers of uh, weaponry, or whatever you want to call it. So, the first one is the diamond spear. Stab things with it. Pretty simple. And the next one we're going to test is as soon as I get around to it I'm trying to remember what I actually need don't mind that your wind chime don't mind that it's a it's a it's from another part of the mod the the whole mod pack this is me tabbing out to remember how to build all these things but for the sake of the demonstration we're gonna be using diamond uh, for all these weapons. So, I'm gonna make a diamond halberd. Oh my goodness. Why do they make such dangerous weapons if it's not dangerous? Because they're dangerous animals. Then it is dangerous. Alright, fine, it's dangerous. But that's why you have lots of armor and lots of weapons to protect you with. So the halberd's pretty cool. You can swing with it. All of these weapons are, yeah, all of these weapons come with uh, secondary right-click functions. So this one's the diamond knife. And it's pretty simple. It's just a little stabby knife. That's scary. <laughs> like a little assassin in Minecraft. Knife. Yeah. Guy pulls a, pulls a tiny diamond knife on you in a back alley. Terrifying. This is a scary mod pack. Hammer? The diamond war hammer. <laughs> now this one, all the basic stuff. These, these all do different sorts of um, different amounts of damage to things, and we'll get to that shortly. Um, because we're going to be testing out all this stuff on pigs. Yay! Yep. Pig murder. Yeah, I figured it was easier than you know doing it on zombies. So this one's my favorite, the diamond battle axe, because it's actually more powerful than the diamond sword, and has a inherent knockback. But once again, we'll get to all that. Um, and then there's one more one that's pretty cool. So I'm, uh, but it does require some string. I don't know if it's technically melee, but it's whatever. It's cool. So we're gonna make a diamond flail. Oh. Yep. Wow. And now the flail, it only works with um the right click functionality. So we'll see how that goes in a second. Alright, so the diamond battle axe you can block with it, just like any sword. So you can have all of your damage with it. You can throw the spear. Six in the ground and Amazing. 
you can always recover it. It doesn't use any durability like that, only when it actually hits something. The halberd, you can attack with the axe part of it, or you can flip it around and attack with the spear. Each one has different uh, damage outputs and levels of knockback, so you can use it to whichever situation you decide you, you actually want. Now the knife, you can throw it as well, just like the spear. And That's it'll stick in awesome. the ground, and it makes a pretty cool flying through the air sound effect. Uh, the next one is the Warhammer, and that's more powerful than the Battle Axe, but when you charge it up with the by holding right and release... Oh my god. It's basically like a big shockwave attack. Doesn't destroy the landscape, but it's a giant shockwave. And it actually has a cooldown time, so you can't just spam it. But it's pretty fun anyways. And then the that Flail... Is insane. throw it and you've actually got a little flail that sort of you can drag around. Not as effective to just drag, but it's kind of neat as a little short range weapon. But anyway, it's turning night and I didn't exactly want it to be night for this because it makes it a little harder to see, so I'm actually going to cheat a little bit and turn on something called NEI, which is not enough items. And this allows me to actually cheat and pull in anything that I want. Uh, switch to creative instantly, turn on rain, change the time of the day, and heal myself. So not enough items, like too many items. Yeah, it's kind of the enough. kind of the evolution of too many items. Not by the same person, but it's a similar idea. So we're actually going to test the things on pigs now, just to get an idea of how powerful they are. Die, sucker. Uh, you'll see it shortly, but it readily became apparent that Diamond was probably not the best thing to try and showcase strength with, especially against Pig. And now here we're having the problem of the spawner that I've placed, the convenient Pig spawner, is not Holy spawning, moly. so I decided I'll put down a second one and increase my odds, and lo and behold, four Pigs. Now the Halberd is really powerful, because it kills things in one hit. even when flipped around. There's a little bit of knockback difference between them, as I said. Um, but against pigs, I suppose it's not very easy to figure out. Uh, so the knife... is The knife is supposed to be less than a sword. And I realize now I'm testing out the throwing of the spear. They don't, get, they don't throw very far, but... It's not that big a deal. Knife throws a fair distance, though. Oh, you lost your knife then? Yep. Uh -oh. I would go get it, but... Meh. I can make another one. There's fish in that water. I wouldn't even have stood in it. So the flail... You can hit things with it normally, but it's just kind of like punching them. So you actually have to throw the thing down to do damage. And then the battle axe is powerful, has not a fair amount of knockback on it. And same with the warhammer. For good measure, though, let's kill that shark. Oh my god. <laughs> One hit the shark. And just to get a better idea of the warhammer, again, In it actually face. has a. Yeah, it has a pretty big shock range. So that pig got damaged even though he was a little distance away. Match is snouted. So that's it for the for the main melee weapons of the of the mod. Uh, next video we'll be getting into the um the other types of weapons, and they'll use all the rest of the stuff up there that I did not use yet. So, see you for that. Adios. Don't you touch your pig, pig. <laughs>